Hello everyone, in the previous video we have seen introduction to crop production and management on so also about types of crops, right? In today's video, let us uh, understand what are agricultural activities and let us learn about the first one that is preparation of soil. Got it? So what do you mean by agricultural activities and why do you have to do agricultural activities? They are done in order to cultivate the crops. You cannot directly go, uh, go to the your field and you cannot directly cultivate the crop right you have to follow some procedure in order to cultivate the crops and you'll have seven steps preparation of soil sowing adding manure and fertilizers irrigation protecting from weeds harvesting and storage these are the seven steps that you have to follow in order to cultivate a crop and in order to get an output from a crop clear now let us in this video we will see the first one and then in the later on videos we will be going for the second parts and so on okay the first one is preparation of the soil so preparation of the soil is the first step in our cultivation in our agriculture whenever we start agriculture the first step that we have to follow is preparation of the soil okay and this is the first step and this is also a very important step got it so what do you mean by preparation of soil preparation of soil is nothing but we have to turn soil to loosen it so when you leave the land agriculture land empty for so many days or so many months then the soil will become very hard right so you cannot directly grow uh, go and grow the crops in that but in that type of soil so first you have to loosen it then only you can sow the seeds in it so in order to loosen it you have to first turn the soil got it and when you loosen the soil what happens means the roots roots of the crops whichever you're growing will penetrate deep into the soil and can grow easily that roots can go deep into the soil and they can absorb all the nutrients minerals and they can grow easily why because loosened soil helps in growth of earthworms and microbes okay earthworms and microbes are called as the friend of the farmer because they will give all the required nutrients to the soil and whatever the small uh, tiny insects or tiny bacteria are there those will be eaten by this earthworms and microbes and so that is the reason why they are called as friends of the farmers and also earthworm will dig small small holes in the soil because of digging those small small holes in the soil the water or the minerals or the nutrients which you give to the soil can easily penetrate into the soil penetrate is nothing but going into it clear so we have to loosen the soil in order to get good fertilizers and get good not fertilizers nutrients and important or whatever the minerals that are required so when we loosen the soil earthworms and microbes can easily grow in that soil and they are called as the friends of the farmer because they also add humus to the soil clear now soil should be and whenever you're growing a crop you will be obviously growing it in the top soil you will not go into the next layers right you cannot go deep into the next layers so whatever the minerals and nutrients are there they will be present in the deep inside layers so when you when you turn the soil when you loosen the soil all those minerals nutrients will come into the top soil will come into the top layer will come to the top and then the soil will become nutrient rich soil so this process is called as tilling or plowing the process of loosening or turning the soil is called as tilling or plowing why we have to loosen the soil we have to loosen the soil in order to facilitate growth of earthworms and microbes and also so that all the nutrients will come on to the top layer clear this is why we have to turn the soil or loosen the soil and the process of turning the soil or loosening the soil is called as tilling or plowing clear and this tilling or plowing process is done by using a instrument called as plow clear P L O U G H plow instrument called as plow and this plow is made up of wood or iron it is our choice and if the soil is very dry if the whatever the soil which we are uh, in which we are plowing is very dry then we have to add some water to the soil so that the soil will become somewhat wet and then you can easily plow in that and 
the ploughed field when you plough the field the field gets split into many parts and there may be big 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 pieces of soil like this big pieces of soil and those big pieces of soil is are called as crumbs clear so before you go for sowing uh, seeds before you go for growing the crops you have to remove those crumbs also and also you have to level the land because when you if the land is not leveled in some places you have very high and some places you have very low then when you supply water the water will be completely moving to the plant which is in the lower side then the water will not move to the higher side so we have to first level the crops before growing the crops in it clear so by using plough we do tilling or ploughing process clear and we have to level the soil and we also have to break the solid big big large soil crumbs present in the soil clear and we are now going to learn about three tools plough hoe and a cultivator these three tools are used for you know ploughing and removing the weeds and leveling the soil and all those things so now we are going to learn about three instruments in this video the first one is the plough and the second one is the hoe and third one is the cultivator clear this is your plough okay are you able to see it clearly so this is the plough so this wooden part which is there no this is called as the plough this plough will be put on the neck of the two bulls or two horses or two camels but in the most of the cases we use bulls only in our country mostly we use bulls got it because bulls are very bulls have a lot of energy and they can easily pull those wood okay here in this place of wood you can also use even iron also nowadays we are using iron plough only but ancient days they used to use wooden plough itself okay now let us see about the parts of this plough okay this is your plough this is your plough and this triangular shape whatever it is there it is called as the plough share and this plough share will be inserted into the land here you can see right this is there no this is the plough share this plough share will be inserted into the land and this is a long wooden log this wooden log is used to connect the this whatever the beam and the plough share got it this is called as a plough shaft this wooden one is called as a plough shaft and it will have a handle you are able to see two lines here two lines kind of things this is the handle with this handle you will attach this to the beam which is put on the neck of the two bulls okay then the when the bull moves it will dig the soil it will go deep into the soil and then it continues in that way it will plough the entire field in that way got it and this is the ancient method by using this plough we can remove the weeds also we can plough the field also we can do many things by using this plough but nowadays we are replacing this wooden plough with an iron one clear about plough right this is a beam this is the plough share sorry this is a plough shaft and this is the plough share plough share will be put into the ground and beam will be put on the neck of the two bulls and this plough shaft will act as a connection between this beam and also this plough share clear this is called as a hoe got it a hoe is used for removing weeds and also for loosening the soil so what do you mean by weeds weeds are the unwanted plants that grow in your crop suppose you are growing a paddy crop if some other unwanted plants like grass or any other small uh, plants if you see them they are called as weeds you have to remove weeds because if you don't remove the weeds whatever the nutrients or whatever the minerals you are giving to the plant main plant those will be taken by the weeds and the main plant cannot grow properly clear so we have to remove the weeds so this hoe is used for removing the weeds and also for loosening the soil clear and it will also have a long rod this is made up of wood or iron this rod is there now you can see this rod this rod is made up of wood or iron clear and you'll have a strong broad and a bent plate of iron this is the iron plate you'll have it on the on any one end this is the other end right at one end you will put this bent plate so that this will be iron and 
fixed into one of its ends clear we fixed it in one of its ends and works like a blade this will work like a blade whenever you insert into the ground then it will work like a blade so that it will cut off the ground it will loosen the soil and it will also cut off the weeds in order to cut off the weeds you need some knife or a blade kind of thing right so this is very sharp and it will cut off the things okay this is about hoe and this is also pulled by the animals you will also attach this to the animals and animals only will pull it clear this is about hoe and the next instrument is cultivator as i already said you third one is the cultivator cultivator this is the cultivator you are able to see here right cultivator this is the cultivator and this cultivator will be attached to a tractor right and when this tractor moves this cultivator also will dig the ground and it will also move along with the tractor nowadays instead of plow and instead of hoe we are using this cultivator only because this includes less amount of labor and this is done very fast also right so as the tractor moves the land will be digged easily you need not put any mechanical stress on that mechanical force on that so that is the reason why this is mostly used nowadays when preferred to plow and also hoe clear this is about today's video and the topic which we have learnt is preparation of soil clear in the next video we will be learning about sowing and also adding manure fertilizers and the remaining concepts clear that's all for this video if you have any doubts let me know in the comments i'll clarify if you are not able to understand also please mention it in the comments so that i will know and i will try to explain in a more better way okay if you have not yet subscribed to my channel do subscribe and share with your friends if you understood clearly whatever i explained in this video just hit the like button and if you want me to include any other topics or any other subjects let me know in the comments so that i'll do it for you i'll give the link of the whatsapp group in the description go to if you want to join the group you can join and if you have any doubts you can text me there or if you want any notes also you can ask me there so that i'll provide it for you clear thank you guys